finance ministers from the euro area met on Monday for the third week in a row to bridge differences over bailouts for Greece that have bitterly divided creditor nations like Germany and the International Monetary Fund. Ministers said ahead of the meeting that they had made strides to reaching a joint position during a teleconference on Saturday. All the parameters of the solution are on the table, the French finance minister, Pierre Muscovici, said on arriving at the meeting. We are facing our responsibilities. But diplomats in Brussels said they expected the meeting to be long and stormy, like a similar gathering last week, amid a continuing refusal by major creditors like Germany to forgive Greece some of its debt. The seemingly endless round of meetings over Greece is a sign that after nearly three years of crises, the political masters overseeing the bloc's beleaguered single currency are still trying to contain contagion in the eurozone that began with a huge hole in Greek accounts, even as that country's debt prospects continue to worsen. Reaching an agreement on Monday is important for Greece, important for Europe and I want to encourage all the Euro area member states and the IMF to go the last mile in order to find an agreement, in fact go the last centimeter, Bali Rent, the EU Commissioner for Economic and Monetary Affairs, urged ahead of the meeting. For Greece, the immediate goal is unlocking an installment of loans worth 31.5 billion euros, or 40.2 billion dollars, from an international bailout program. If ministers reach a deal, Greece is likely to get a larger amount of about 44 billion euros because two additional installments are due by the end of the year under the program. In June, creditors froze their aid from its current program, worth 130 billion euros, after determining that Greece was failing to meet the conditions of that bailout. It's second. Greece has fully delivered its part of the agreement, so we expect our partners to deliver their part too. Yanis Stornaras, the Greek finance minister, insisted Monday ahead of the meeting. The new complication that has led to further delays and acrimony among lenders, as well as to the flurry of meetings, are competing views over whether Greece will ever be able to pay back its loans. Since June, the Greek economy has worsened, and social problems there have become more acute as employment has climbed to around 25 percent. Those factors led Greece's lenders to agree that the government in Athens will need two years longer than previously agreed or until 2016, to meet its budget targets. But that concession will cost more money because of a range of factors including revenues from privatizations that will not be as large as expected. The cost could come to nearly 33 billion euros on top of existing bailouts to help Greece reach a primary budget surplus, which excludes debt repayments. The prospect of paying more to Greece has perturbed the number of lenders, particularly Germany. Where transferring more wealth to poor performing economies in southern Europe is politically toxic as Chancellor Angela Merkel gears up for a re-election fight next year. Last week, ministers considered options like lowering interest rates on Greek debt, lengthening the deadlines for debt repayments, allowing Greece to buy back its bonds at a steep discount and asking the European Central Bank to return profits made on Greek bonds. Many analysts regard those measures as necessary but insufficient to remedy Greece's problems. They say that Germany and other reluctant creditors like Finland and the Netherlands will have to take politically unpalatable losses, or haircuts, on their holdings of Greek debt in order to keep the country in the euro area, even if they are able to agree on other measures to reduce the size of the state deficit and reform the economy. The result is a standoff with Germany trying to keep the bill for Greece as low as possible at least until after the German elections in 2013. Those concerns were on display over the weekend. Jörg Asmussen, a member of the European Central Bank's executive board, told the German newspaper Bild that a write-down of Greek debt should not be part of the deal, echoing repeated statements from the German finance minister, Wolfgang Schauble, who said it would be illegal. That's not on the agenda at the moment, said Maria Fechter. The Austrian finance minister, arriving at the meeting on Monday, referring to a ride down of Greek debt by governments. The debt cut for the public bodies, and in fact the taxpayers, was not wanted by any country, she told reporters. On the other side is the International Monetary Fund, which insists that fresh money, or even a write down, will be needed to put Greece on a pathway so its debt is manageable by the end of the decade. By its own rules, the IMF can lend money only if the debt is sustainable or can be paid back by a recipient nation, like Greece. Christine Lagarde, the managing director of the IMF, 
has insisted that Greece's debt reach 120% of gross domestic product by 2020. But that target has steadily become considered unfeasible. Greek debt is now estimated at 175% of GDP, and its economy could shrink again next year, pushing that figure to 190%. Greek debt could be expected to remain at highly elevated levels in the early years of next decade, according to figures seen Monday by the International Herald Tribune. Those figures, distributed to ministers last week by Greece's so-called Troika of lenders, the European Commission, the European Central Bank and the IMF, estimated Greek debt at 144% of GDP in 2020, 138% in 2021 and 133% in 2022 unless further far-reaching measures are taken by Greece, private creditors and by creditor nations. Arriving at the meeting in Brussels on Monday, Ms. Lagarde pledged to work towards a solution that is credible for Greece and added we are going to work very intensely on that.